Obrócę sobie. No, tak żeby porówno było. It's early dawn and British and German soldiers of Amphibious Engineer Battalion 130 are waiting for the arrival of one of the largest NATO armoured land forces to be amassed since the end of the Cold War. These are M3 amphibious bridging vehicles ready to take part in a major NATO wet gap crossing exercise along the Vistula, Poland's largest river. These and other amphibious systems will cross the river from the village of Opolania to Korsen Nova. They will carry with them a vast amount of military vehicles and equipment. Poland is hosting this major exercise called Dragon 24, a key element to the overarching NATO exercise Steadfast Defender 2024. Dragon 24 involves a total of about 20,000 soldiers and 3,500 units of equipment from 10 NATO countries, including about 15,000 soldiers of the Polish Armed Forces. The engineers operating the various amphibious systems pick up the pace as heavy armour approaches engineers quickly manoeuvre equipment to pre-agreed river crossing points. Here American tankers take a break at a NATO security checkpoint. They are very close to reaching the Vistula River. This highly complex exercise presents Poland with a chance to show the world improvements in its military capability. Poland actually began rearming itself even before Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. Dragon 24 was planned after Russia invaded Ukraine. Since the Russian invasion, Poland in 2022 assessed her strategic position and the potential risks it now faced from Putin's Russia. The results gave stark warning even invoking memories of past Soviet expansion. These are US Army motor transport operators driving trucks assigned to C Company 87th Division Sustainment Support Battalion. They have travelled from Lithuania and have received orders to transport M1074 Joint Assault Bridge Systems into Poland. They are required to provide bridging support for NATO forces heavy armour after they have crossed over the Vistula River. They have now rendezvoused with other colleagues from 87th Division Sustainment Support Battalion who travelled with bridging equipment from the Drosko Pomorski training area in Poland. Their first mission is to head near to the town of Sadrowa, Poland to rendezvous with US Army Combat Engineers assigned to the 9th Brigade Engineering Battalion, 2nd Army Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division. The US Army Combat Engineers waiting at Sadrowa need to lay M1074 Joint Assault Bridge Systems to reinforce Polish canal bridges and small stream crossings, which flow into the local Umilev River, all before the first elements of a NATO column of Polish, American and French main battle tanks arrive in less than 24 hours. Some of the first tanks from the NATO armoured column begin to approach the Vestula River bank. The first tank is a Polish 2PL main battle tank. This particular tank has special commemorative markings of a famous Cromwell cruiser Mark 7 tank, T187921 Heller. It was the command tank of General Stanislaw Maszczek, the legendary commander of the 1st Polish Armoured Division during World War II. General Maszczek commanded the Polish 10th Brigade and fought in three significant campaigns. Firstly, in 1939, Poland, defending his country against invading Nazi German forces, his tactics inflicted heavy losses on a numerically superior force. The 10th Brigade were ordered to evacuate Poland after Soviet forces overran the country in September 1939. General Maszczek deployed his 10th Brigade to France, forming the 10th Brigade of the Armoured Cavalry. Once again, he fought German Nazi forces, but after France capitulated in 1942, he evacuated to Great Britain. 
He and his men regrouped and were eventually equipped with Cromwell and Sherman tanks, forming a 1st Armoured Division. His division landed in Normandy in August 1944. He engaged German forces in Normandy at great cost to Polish troops. The 1st Armoured Division stopped thousands of troops and equipment from retreating and regrouping towards Germany. His tactical genius paved the way for Allied forces to eventually push through to Germany. General Marschek and his troops directly helped to liberate many towns and cities in northern France, Belgium and the Netherlands. As a result of Poland's 2022 high threat level assessment on an increasingly aggressive and unpredictable Russia, the Polish government is now spending more than 4% of GDP on defence and is already progressing to double its land forces to 300,000 personnel. Poland's expanding land forces will be supported by the purchase of hundreds of the very latest Abrams M1A2 SEP V3 main battle tanks, 1000 K2 Black Panther tanks and 648 K9 Thunder 155mm self-propelled howitzers. Poland is also purchasing high Mars rocket launchers and Patriot air defence systems. Poland's air force will be beefed up with 48 South Korean FA-50 combat aircraft plus 32 US-35 stealth fighters. Poland will also expand and modernise her navy. During this exercise, it's very noticeable the lack of Russian or Soviet produced equipment, which was so prominent in NATO exercises just two years ago. This is a fundamental change. NATO armour is now landing on the other side of the River Vestula. Their next phase is a push towards Sedrova. The NATO forces will then march to the strictly important Zawalki Gap. During this march, they will encounter natural barriers such as deep ditches as well as canal and streams with low weight-bearing bridges. The Sowalki Gap, seen here on this map, lies on the Polish-Lithuanian border and is located between Belarus and the Russian exclave of Kaliningrad. An oblast left isolated from Russia after the collapse of the Soviet Union and full dissolution in 1991. NATO amphibious wet cap crossings over the Vistula River are reaching completion. The crossings were actually conducted over four days. It included comprehensive equipment training and focused on improved interoperability effectiveness between forces. US Army motor transport operators have arrived on the schedule ahead of the NATO armoured column. US Army combat engineers are standing by ready to reinforce a low weight bearing arch concrete bridge with a military load classification 115 scissor type folding bridge with a weight bearing load of 115 short tons. This particular crossing was part of a treading event for United States and Polish tanker crews. The main NATO column is moving forward with a unit of US Army combat engineers preparing a second more frantic crossing. Poland's 11th Lubusz Armoured Cavalry Division has been assigned as the main force to take part in this exercise and are leading the way to the Sowalki Gap. NATO's enhanced forward present battle group Poland is also taking part. In a public statement, the Polish Defence Ministry underlined that both Dragon 24 and Steadfast Defender 24 are defensive exercises and are not directed against any country. 
or are a demonstration of the ability to counter the aggressive policy and provocative activity of the Russian Federation.